Let's take a look at the top three candidates in the race from our poll, which was conducted from August 7th through August 10th. Our survey found if the election were held today, Dan McKee would get 28%, followed by Nellie Gorbea at 25%, and Helena Folks behind them with 14%. 21% of the voters aren't sure in the primary for governor. We also wanted to know how Democratic primary voters feel about the candidates individually. 53% of primary voters say they have a very or somewhat favorable opinion of Governor Dan McKee, while 23% say they have a somewhat or very unfavorable opinion. 24% aren't sure. Our analyst Joe Fleming says that's a decent number for McKee. With Nellie Gorbea, we found 46% of voters had a favorable opinion, while 14% felt unfavorable toward her. 40% of voters aren't sure. Fleming says that's a reminder of how the Secretary of State, which is her current job, has a lower profile than the sitting governor. And then the results for Helena Folks, a political newcomer and former CVS executives, they show people are still getting to know her with about a month to go. 33% of Democratic primary voters have a favorable opinion of Folks, 15% an unfavorable opinion. Opinion, but more than half of the voters we asked, 52%, aren't sure how they feel about folks. Now, folks was the first candidate to go on the air in this race with campaign ads, and her numbers went up from our poll in May when she was only polling at 6%, but she's still only at 14% in our latest survey, well behind the two frontrunners, despite spending over a million dollars on TV ads now. So she clearly has a lot of work to do. My colleague Tim White will be here at 6 o'clock with results from another hot race, the Democratic primary to replace Congressman Jim Langevin. Ted Nisi, 12 News.